Nine? Yes. Nine. Oh, Tyler, nine. I am giving you a cease and desist order. You are not my boss. I mean, I'm, I'm like, it, like, I was going to say, you're unemployed. That so ass. Man. Greetings. Welcome back to the Cauldron of Weird podcast. Uh, I am your host, Chris, followed by these lovely gentlemen. I've got Tyler. Lovely. Hi. Okay. Bryant. This is Bryant. This is Bryant. He's, He's got alive. so much alcohol, you can't, you can't hear properly. In court. Yeah. yeah, hi. We oh. are not lovely gentlemen. <laughs> Don't, yeah. Handsome? Don't. Nope. Not even that. Semi, semi handsome? Yeah. So we're, we all got semis, is what you're saying. Yeah. We're people. Okay, fair enough. We're we all people. Got we are people. There you go. I'm a crab yeah. monster. The people are overrated. Yeah. yeah. As as speaking as one, or an artificial as one. Mm-hmm. Anyways, <laughs> so uh, we, we took a little generation. Yeah, that's, that's a songbird of the my generation. No boy. So we took a little bit of a break. You know, we're kind of getting ready here. We're kind of ramping up, getting ready for the new year. Christmas is like a few days away right now, so it's kind of kind of kind of disgusting. Five days. <laughs> <laughs> I so I, I was I'm li- enjoying it. I was listening. We were listening to music at work, and I go, everyone recognizes Christmas songs, and they all suck. Yeah. Like every Christmas song sucks. They, they all do. And then everyone just keeps playing Mariah Carey's "All I Want for Christmas." I hate that song so much. It's I like the Spider Man. Interesting right? note. It's you know, you know, like it, during like the month of December, she makes like eighty thousand a day, eighty thousand yeah. dollars a day just in Spotify listings. Good for her. Yeah. Just, just for her Christmas stuff. So not it's good disgusting. for her. I hope she dies. So so hold on, hold on, hold on. During okay, the month there, of December, uh, it's eighty thousand dollars a day. It's a lot. Twenty five days. That we'll, we'll go. Yeah, because they stop yeah. playing after this twenty six. Twenty five. That is a cool two mil. So anyway, be nice. she's got to pay for those twins that she's not taking care of. What I yeah, <laughs> that's what she's got to pay for. She's got so, to pay okay. for someone else. To take what care I'm of saying them. is, my thing stands. Fair enough. Yep. So we took a little bit of a break. We all have a little bit of uh, comedic blue balls, if you will. You know, we're all kind of real pent up. Uh, we've had a lot of stuff going on, so we're ready to just kind of just unload on everyone, right? So much stuff. So you ready? <laughs> ready to? <laughs> I'm so disappointed that you just said that. <laughs> It'll so, be okay, Brian. So, so we get to our first I'm segment. So glad to be back. First segment of freaking and geeking. Okay, so let's go, Tyler. Ooh, I feel Tyler is just in that right amount of weirdness. You, sure? you can give us there. So All what right. are you what are you freaking and geeking? Go. Oh, so many things. Uh, Witcher's out finally. Waiting on that for months and months. Uh, really? Came out today. As, at yeah, the time so of this came recording, out. came out today. Yeah. yeah. Um, so far, of what I've seen, I really enjoy it. I can't wait to finish the episode I'm on, which is episode one. Duh. Because it came out today. Exactly. And um, I think it's going to be really good. I'm excited for it. There seemed to be a lot of build up to this. Yeah. Again, th- everyone's had Witcher blue balls for the last year. Exactly. I think it's going to do this well enough. This entire podcast is just you saying blue balls as many times as possible, isn't Probably. it? Probably. I'm at two right now. But yeah. There you go. Yeah. 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 So, go doing on. that, go uh, in video game news, I just picked up Fallen Order, so I'm enjoying that. And it looks a lot of fun. Weirdly enough, I've been enjoying it. I've been playing the completely fixed Battlefront 2 every you single play, day. You're playing Battlefront 2? Yeah. Now, I played it with him and Brandon um, the Is other it, day as yeah? well. Yeah, oh, it's 100% it's, it's, fixed. It's actually really fun now. They fixed the whole thing. The whole thing is fixed. See, I feel like between No Man's Sky and Battlefront 2, it's just kind of like they poor launches. I don't care. But they fixed. But it. That's what I'm saying. They fixed they, it. They went and, back. Still they went back there. over an entire year and fixed the entire thing. Added Fair like enough. six heroes to both sides. God. And they added an entire giant mode that is capital supremacy. It's so old school cool. Battlefront. Yeah, it's all yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, Come yeah, it's, it's awesome. Right. And they just added more content from the Rise of Skywalker. That that won't come out. It won't officially Look, be out. Yeah. All of it won't be out till next week because yeah, till January. To avoid spoilers. To avoid sure. spoilers. But they added the new units in, and I mean, maybe I still don't understand how BB-8 and BB-8E are considered a hero and a villain. Well, class. as of right don't now, they're not. They're it. not in the game yet, but so they it's, are. it's still fine. You're going to be playing as. I'm a just droid. surprised there hasn't been a Baby Yoda. There's going to be a Baby Yoda, right? No, there has. Oh, sh- there has to be. Next game. Next game. That's right, Brian. Freaking geeking. What do you think, man? Oh, God. Hmm. We haven't seen each other in like a month. So He's like, how, yeah, do how do I not spoil certain things? Yeah. That's the next one. That's the next one. Yeah, I know. It's the next one. 
I know, I hate it too. He sounds so disappointed. <sighs> we are disappointed. Talk about blue that's my, balls. That's what my dad says to me all the time. I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> Him and Kevin Sorbo, they always look at me and say disappointed. <laughs> disappointed! If you haven't watched that, please watch it. It's so funny. Just, just <laughs> type in He-Man disappointed. That's how how about Hercules? Or Her that's right, Hercules. I was thinking of the other disappointed, disappointed. scene from He-Man, the 1980s He-Man movie. Mm. Disappointed! Smashes a glass. So, so geeking, um, kind of... I'm still on that Monster Hunter, like, I'm trying to balance that and Call of Duty out, but Monster Hunter just released a new Siege, which is a lot of freaking fun. New subspecies of Zenogre. Battlefront 2, I did cave and... Did you say an ogre? It's an ogre. <laughs> an ogre. <laughs> do it again, do it again. <laughs> Your life is ogre. <laughs> there it is, that's what I wanted. There it is. It's all yeah. ogre now. No, it's <laughs> I, I tell it's you ogre what, Anakin, I have the high ground. We're going into ogre load. <laughs> I'll tell you what. If you if you want a funny story, I was I was playing Heroes vs. Villains earlier, and we did have the high ground. And then Obi Wan came out of nowhere, and he's like, "Now I have the high ground." I was like, "What the? This dude's always breaking his own rules." Son of a bitch. Exactly. <sighs> Ruining everything. Every time. Sorry, Brett. No, you're good. Uh, you just, God, you I just I, since it's been a month, it's like basically freaking geeking about everything Star Wars. I mean, it just came out. I guess last night. 24 hours ago, yeah. Yeah, so for us, it's very fresh. Yeah. Even though two of us have seen it. Two days ago. What? A day ago. Rub it in. Oh no, two days ago for me. How? How? People, things. Oh, piracy. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Corey. <laughs> Jesus. Lay it on us, bud. So, um. <laughs> <laughs> Surrender the booty. So, uh, what I've been in, what I've been uh, freaking about, and it's a good freaking, is um, the Columbus Crew. Ah, um, yeah. They have been loading up on talent this off season. They and, need to. Uh, and I am uh, tickled pink by these incoming signees. It's going to be a grand old time, and uh, I am super excited. He's really ramped up. Terrible on alcoholic drink, by the way. What's that? Old Granddad. Old Granddad. Oh, it's disgusting. Uh, uh, you can't miss it with its vibrant orange label on it <laughs> and its $6 price tag for a liter. Spe you know, I've, uh, I've stayed away from that. I've never had it. It's, oh, it's terrible. Oh, it, Speaking of You alcohol. know there's good burn? This is just a... People drink this and enjoy it burn, and I don't see understand why. So you... It's like that and rubbing alcohol. You can't taste the difference. I uh, Speaking of alcohol, though, I did get a bottle um, yesterday of Watershed's bourbon. Oh, nice. I'm pretty excited about that. They're pretty good. Watershed makes good stuff. We were drinking that uh, screw, screwball, mm -hmm. where it's peanut butter fused bourbon. Yeah. Oh my god, dude, it's so freaking it's good. It's just alcoholic just peanut butter. Bourbon it, it is alcoholic peanut butter. I mean, just it's bourbon in general. Finally, mm, something yummy. I can look forward to. Alcoholic peanut butter. Yeah. Anyway, coming back with the um, what I've been geeking about... George job. Washington Carver is going to kill you. Just waiting for that peanuts. job. Peanuts, you're just going to shove them in your mouth. Finally! Just waiting for that jelly. I've never I've never been more excited to die by oh, nuts in my mouth. My god. Seriously. <laughs> choo Tyler. choo, here comes the goo. <laughs> now make sure you chew. Open up. <laughs> make sure you chew. <laughs> anyway, what I've been geeking about is the um, lineup release for the Incarceration Festival. Dude, at oh my god. Prison. So let me just run through the bands that I want to see. I'm sorry, Mansfield on. Prison? Yeah, yeah it's in a prison. Yeah. They do tattoos, there's bands, there's people being killed, it's a whole thing. Yeah. Maybe not the last part. The killing? <laughs> so, I mean, at some point. Running through from the bottom. At least you only have to walk 20 feet. It's like, oh, go, guy. Oh, well, I already have to. I'm already in jail. We're good. Finally. Um, so let's just run through the bands that I'm excited to see at this festival. Um, along Kim a Spider from up in Cleveland. September Morning, Stitched Up Heart, Carnifex, Escape the Fate, New Year's Day, Attila, The Devil Wears Prada, We Came as Romans, Static X, Atreyu, Bad Flower, Steel Panther, yes. um, Under Oath, Hailstorm, Papa Roach. They're still together? Who? Under Oath? I thought they broke up. They came back a couple years ago. I saw them at... Um, Rock on the Rage. No shit. Yeah, they're That's awesome. awesome. Uh, uh, Papa Roach, Blink-182, Weezer, and Limp Fucking Biscuit. <laughs> so, so basically yeah. every band there. Yeah. Not every band there. There are some other bands. I mean, it's not that I'm not I'm trying excited. to think. It's like, if I feel like every single person that you just described or just told us has been touring for at least a decade. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. How about? Yeah, what's your, what's no, your point? No. Decade I mean, and a half. Decade and a half, yeah. I mean, some other significant bands are going to be there. I'd say they were a decade there. under the influence. I mean, some, there are other significant <laughs> names that are going to be there, too, like Mastodon and... Um, oh, God, You no. I could care less about. But Hollywood Undead, Falling oh, in Reverse, yeah. Puddle of Our Mud. favorite bands on this channel, by the way. <laughs> Falling oh. in Reverse and Hollywood Undead. All the ones that block us. <laughs> <laughs> Still blocked on uh, Twitter by Ronnie Racky. I checked today, actually. Um, <laughs> uh, we all Because we were are. trying to get an interview with him again. <laughs> hey, I'm not blocked. Maybe it was I a should strong try again. no. Well, uh, no you spent an entire gaming episode again. of making fun of Ronnie Racky. got an interview with uh, Escape the Fate. Well, Escape the Fate. I know. Okay. But, um... Yeah, that might be a strong no. It's just like, so the Cauldron of Weird wants to talk to you. And then he goes, who? <laughs> <laughs> you know, those guys who were yelling at you. I, we didn't yell at Escape the Fate. We yell at... Falling in reverse because they're terrible. Hey, don't make shooting. But music. Uh, also, a mirror is going to be there. Stick to your guns. I mean, it's 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 a really strong lineup. It's a much stronger lineup than That's I what, expected. It's May, right? No, this one's in July. Oh, July. Oh, oh God. Not, they know not to compete with, with Sonic no Temple. Yeah. Wasn't it? Wasn't it in May? No, no man. I'm thinking of something it's in, else. It's always been in the summer. Sorry, I'm thinking of something else. But um, yeah, I'm going because shocker, Limp Biscuit. Um, he's going because he's Corey. He wants to get that chocolate starfish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's getting and right on his I mean, elbow. I mean, come on. Limp Biscuit, Blink-182, New Year's Day, September morning, Stitch Apart. All the I'm band not missing... Sorry. It, How do you not have arthritis, man? I probably do. It's not the point. All of the bands that make noises... Look at the joints in his cock right there. They're probably hurting as well. <laughs> yeah, you gotta crack like, that every day. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like the, the blue... Is, are they thwomps? In the yes, in swamps. Yeah. They sound like cement what? mixers. <laughs> <laughs> Every one of those joints does that noise. Exactly. <laughs> God. I'm just waiting for your shoulder to pop out one day. Oh, me too. Oh, what are we going to do with you? Uh, so Just watch me fall apart. Hope so, for the best. <laughs> right? Get the chairs and the beer. We have chairs and beer. Perfect. Uh, right? You've already done your job. So proud. You get a raise this month. So... <laughs> Okay. A race of nothing. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna get this one out of the way. Okay. Okay. Oh, I guess goody. what I'm freaking about was the whole Peloton ad. I'm getting it out of the way. I know oh, nothing about this. Really? Because and then Ryan Reynolds got involved right there. And I just, know nothing it was about all, this. It, basically, a husband gets his wife a Peloton. Oh, put, it, put it on. Put it on. Oh God. It's damn. only like 30 uh, seconds too. No, it is not. It's 30 like seconds. seriously, it's like 30 seconds. Am I not gonna care about this? You're really? not gonna care about. it I feel like it I don't all. care about it already. So we all we all seen it. Nope. And, and well, top. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. two oh, minutes. Okay. This bitch. Don't worry. We're gonna get to my next thing. That's 30 seconds. Oh, wink. Your sex life. Oh. What God, do you think the wink was for? Joke. <laughs> I know it was all. It was funnier when it was implied, but I had to run the joke. So, you can so that makes you a dick. Don't you I know. That's right. He Double is a jointed dick. dick. So, oh, okay. Uh, so this it, 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 sh it shows the full thing. I really do believe it's Tony. It's so he like gives her a bike, a bike, and then she's kind of like scared because she's like, oh, you just like bought a six thousand dollar bike without telling me. Um, I don't think we can financially support this. And he goes, shut up. You're gonna do it. And she goes, okay. And so it's like a year long journey of her like doing small videos and, and kind of vlogging about it. Like oh, pound. I did see this. Well, so, <laughs> so what's funny about all this is like, she kind of, I feel bad for her because she kind of was like, oh, maybe I was just my, my acting and people just didn't understand. But then a lot of people were, were like really upset with the guy actor, the husband actor. And he's like, he's in there for three seconds. Like he's only in there for like, like a very short amount of time. Three seconds is all you need he to do He has like one damage. line. And they're actors. Like, oh yeah. It didn't actually he had happen. The, he had the creative freedom to do all this. So... I wanted to bring up that ad. <laughs> I, I don't know if we can afford this. Shut up. Ride the bike. <laughs> <laughs> so I brought that ad to yeah, bring up this one. Paying us. So go to the Folgers ad. Why is, the, um, why is Chumba Wumba Chump Thumper <laughs> in your, um, your recent searches, Re Chris? Reasons? Wait, what? What was in the Chumba reasons? Chumba Wumba. Uh, Chumba Wumba. So I'll get, I'll get, to, that, I'll get to that in a second. God. Man, I so, am so uh, this Folgers ad is hilarious. So Folgers has like a really bad habit of doing incestuous stuff. So she walks in on her father-in-law, and look at him. He's just kind of like, "Yeah, what? What's going on?" And so she's trying to process all this. And so they're like, "Hey, you should have some coffee." And look, look at his face. Like. 
the look of their face is like family stuff, right? It's like too many cooks. It's like too, it's, it's literally like too many cooks, and it makes me laugh so hard. Um, uh, it's fucking great. Anyways, God. that's that's what I wanted to get on because <laughs> I I too am also confused. <laughs> these what? commercials, these commercials this holiday season, they're pushing the boundaries of what is appropriate on television, and I kind of dig it's it. Fucking yeah. meta. It, yeah, it's so meta. It's, it's Game of Thrones. It, it no, kinda, no. It, 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 they're, they're like they're like, hey, we made this okay. We can. Do <laughs> well, it's no longer here. about hey, you want a good cup of coffee. It's just what can we. Remember? Hey, you want to walk in on your fucking stepfather, and then it's like father-in-law, oh, a father-in-law, and then all of a sudden, which is way worse. How am I going to get this out of my brain? Well, clearly, a hot cup of co black coffee is going to soothe that. Would you call me? <laughs> black. <laughs> Can't you see we talking <laughs> white? <laughs> nice. That was, that was, um, that was, that was Zach and Mary make a corner. Good. Yes. That was good. That was good. So. I haven't seen that in so long. To answer your question, this is now my second part of freaking Chumbawamba. I saw <laughs> <laughs> that song is so bad, by the way. I've listened oh, to it again. Down, it, knock it up again. No, even, no. It, the, the first line of it, he's like, he drinks a whiskey drink, he drinks a vodka drink, he drinks a cider drink, he drinks a laundry drink. It's it, 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 songs it's, of the rhyme of the good times. He sings the songs of the rhyme of the bad times. It's so bad. It's so bad. Okay, what's, what's the point of... Uh, so I saw a post where... The dude's wife was yeah. going oh, oh, yes. and so all he did was just kept playing Chumbawamba at their bar, That's and so he just kept leading questions right there. And I was like, I had to watch it again, and I was like, I would kill myself if I heard the song more than like twice. So no, this brings up the question. So when I would listen to it if, once, I was halfway to killing in myself. In personal hell, would you want to listen to this on repeat for the rest of your life, or what's new, P Pussycat? What's new, Pussycat? Really? I I would rather listen to Chumbawamba. What's new, Pussycat? <laughs> Never heard either. Honestly, yeah, I think you honestly, are such honestly, a liar. Oh, shit. I think I'd take I think I'd take Chumbawamba to be you, honest. Thank you. I think I would take Chumbawamba. Thank you. I would take Ch Chumbawamba. Oh, that would be it would be because at least then I would get like he drinks a whiskey drink. He drinks a vodka. Like at least I get somewhat enjoy it. Yeah, but just, just for you, Tyler. Hold on. Oh, it's so bad. Oh my god. Oh, the this is so nineties. This is yeah. disgusting. Wow, we should do a reaction to this. Knocked down, but I get up again. Get out of the video. Hey, he's he's Irish, right? Oh, he's a a hardcore Irish. Hey, he's like Drop Kick Murphy Irish. Oh, Boston. They're gonna be at Sonic Temple by the way. They are. I'm kind of really? jealous. Drop Kick. Oh, oh. Yeah. Last time they were here was two years ago. Now it's like four. Yeah, it was gone. like fifty dollars. By the way, this chick is like really yeah. bugging me. Night away. She like you know, her mouth way too much. I almost want to say something, but I'm not going. I always take a chance. He drinks a whiskey drink. He drinks a vodka drink. He drinks a lager drink. He drinks a cider drink. I've only ever heard the chorus of this song and nothing else. Because all the rest of it's super depressing. Her, and stupid. her face is like uh, those videos of people like editing video games to make facial expressions. She like looks like hundred and fifty percent. She looks like the demo of like a uh, animatronic. Like, yeah. like look how real her face is. Well, that tiny boy. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say that <laughs> or, terrifying. That or, Smile. That or Bioware Montreal got a whole. That's where they got their uh, basis for Mass Effect Andromeda. Yeah, true that. Big yikes. Oh god. Big yikes. Big um, huge bitch yikes. And I guess, I guess what I'm geeking about, I kind of know that I got a headset for Christmas. So I'm geeking about because I'm going to play Beat Saber until I can't feel my cock. I literally have no clue what I was given for Christmas Don't, don't lie. You're, you're going to play no. Beat Saber, but you're I really going into VR chat, motherfucker. It would be really fun. I now pronounce you husband. Husband and, and wife. <laughs> so, all right. So <laughs> the, we, we, uh, the creation of uh, Uganda Knuckles. It was. Yeah. God. Candle that burns candle that burns twice as bright only lasts half as long. It was and hot. For, it was hot for like was, two months. That was February of this year. No, no last year. Was it last no. year? It was last year. No, you got to knuckles. It was this year. Do we, even have, do we even have VR headsets last year? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Someone was sharing the thing that's oh. saying trying to say the Tide Pod thing was. Yeah, I saw that. No, that, that was definitely that last was year. last year. That was one hundred percent last year. Because I remember. Because I remember. Big, I am 100% sure. Big Chungus. And then Uganda Knuckles made a comeback because they fused. They fused the Big Chungus and Uganda, Uganda Knuckles. Knuckles. It was Uganda Chungus. No, it was it was uh, 18. Oh, was it? Oh, I God. knew it. I paid attention. <laughs> For once I in your life. And it made a slight <laughs> comeback again with the Mandalorian. Like because Baby Yoda? Baby Yoda is the, the Chungus. Way. This is the way. Oh, this is the way. Sense. And then it's, I was it like, would say, this is the way. It just showed Uganda Knuckles and said, ah, oh, yes. <laughs> so, we've had a lot of stuff happen in our time that we've been off. 
I've been wanting to talk to you guys about this because it makes me laugh. Okay. So I don't. I'm pretty sure I told at least probably all of you, but it doesn't you matter. Probably told me during D and D. Probably. So we saw the Joker movie. Okay. And it was out. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I did too. Okay. Which, by the way, Corey's fans, the only one who hadn't seen it. By the way, yep. I thought it was fantastic. I would literally say it's like in my top ten favorite movies. I really, really enjoyed. That's it. That's what uh, Sean from Icon for Hire said. That it, it jumped into as one of his like top five. I would. Say that it is a very, very beautiful movie. It is takes all kinds of crazy, weird ways, and I, I, I dig it. It is a disturbingly good movie. So that is why, forever, mm-hmm. when I think of that movie, I'm gonna think about what happened four feet away from me. So oh boy. we're watching. It's like right at the peak of the Somebody movie, right here. Job? Dude's getting a blowjob. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How did I know? Dude's getting a blowjob, literally like right next to us. And then the other dude, and then the dude is fingering his girlfriend while they're. I don't have a problem with that, but I can hear it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and it's loud, isn't it? It is. That's when, oh, you, just dude, go, like, that's when you just go, is someone stirring macaroni? <laughs> I, I literally turned to Ashley and I was like, "Do you guys hear?" I was like, "Do you hear macaroni right now?" Like, like it was, for, so forever that movie is going to be kind of like, "Oh yeah, I love that movie." And then immediately my next thought is going to be, "That's when that's when the dude got a blowjob and he's fingering her." That's when he was making macaroni. So, gotta stir just, it good. <sighs> gotta stir it good. So, what does that say about the movie then? Well. I can only assume it heightens the movie, right? It's now sensory and physical. Like, yeah. all kinds of stuff is happening. Like, I like this guy's having a breakdown. Suck me right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you. I'll how just to suck the crazy out of me. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, I'll show you how to lose your fucking mind. Yeah, I'll blow your mind. I'll blow like, your oh. Mind. oh, so you don't need bro drugs. Job, bro job definitely used that line in the song. For oh sure. yeah. So I really enjoyed the movie, but that was kind of funny. But then what was really weird was literally like. That next week, uh-huh. I'm at work, and we can have like headsets on and everything too, you know, like while we're working or whatever. Someone else is getting a blood job at work? No. Oh, okay. Boring. That would have been that would have been pretty interesting. No. <laughs> um, I'm walking by one of the dudes, and his headset had like died, so it's on the charger. So he's listening to an audio book uh-huh. right next to him while he's working right there. Right. He's listening to a romance novel. Oh. Like smut romance or like, like a regular erotica? He, he presses romance? he presses his mouth against her lit firm erotica. nipples. Yeah, yeah, that's lit erotica. Like lit erotica, yeah. And I was kind of just like smut. Eh, like you know, there's like a time and a place. Like you know, that have work your car. Is probably not well, it. Like I, have your car and like have the windows up, and you can listen to that shit all you want. But when it's at work and other people can hear you, it was really off putting. Yikes. Versus when I'm at home, I'm just like, yeah, you lick those nipples. <laughs> <laughs> so did what you say something next? to him? No, of course not. What are you, what are you, yeah. how do you first off. Hello, how do you, Mr. Erotica guy. Could you turn it down? First off, he was a man, okay, in his 50s. Oh. And he was a, he's a very large guy. Like, gynecologist ripped large, like that guy we saw heavy, at the Heavy we set guy that had probably played football at some point. Okay. Oh. I was about to say, because so, I still remember you when you and I went golfing, it's like, excuse me, this makes me really uncomfortable. And then he was but like, But then it's oh. like, then you then you open that door of, you know, he's in his 50s, so he probably voted for Trump, so he's going to look at you and call you gay because, <laughs> well, you're a dude too, this doesn't get you off, man. I want one, I I want wanna, one guy. I don't want to hear it at work. I want one guy to look at me Where and go, yeah, does that not get you off, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I just want that once. Some dude to approach me to say that. I mean, we do that to each other, but that that's just fun. But that's for for, for fun. You yeah. know, like, it was just, just, no. Uh. <laughs> mm. I mean, I know, you, I mean, I know you work in a DC, so maybe he was trying to put, lay another rack. So mm, Maybe. So again, I've had all kinds of crazy shit happen since last we had talked. I'm gonna go to my other one, okay? I'm just I'm just penetrating you with all this gooey gooey goodness. <laughs> okay? Said, did you? <laughs> he definitely did. Surprised, right. I'm surprised half of our crap is actually still up. Without what he said, gooey. <laughs> I thought he yes, said that's something the, else. That's <laughs> the part. I finally had a Popeye's chicken sandwich. Oh, not worth the hype. Let me preface this. So I was out, got done with work. Uh-huh. And I was right by Popeye's, right over by us here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I go, it's like five o'clock. I was like, yeah, people are gonna start getting off here. Dinner's gonna start coming. You know what? I'm right here. Let's get one. There's about like eight cars in this drive-through. Okay. And I was like, you know, 
I'll just go inside. I, you know, just just in case, you know, I get I get stuck because you because you can't pull out of the driveway once you're in there. So once you're committed, you're you're, saying, in. you're you're in it. You know. So I go in, and I was like, just it took me about five minutes to get in there. I'm like, okay, you know, it's getting kind of closer to dinner time. And I asked this lady, I was like, I want a regular chicken sandwich and a spicy one. She didn't know what I was talking about. So I was like, I want, so then I started using numbers, thinking that like, oh, maybe they're just familiar with numbers. I was like, I want a number six, and I want a number seven. 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 So she goes, oh, you want a six piece chicken, and you want seven piece. And I go, you don't have a seven piece. And no, that's not what I said. <laughs> 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 like, not off to a good start right here. Yeah, like, I just want a regular one and a spicy one. I got my sandwich 40 minutes later. <laughs> I had people who ordered chicken sandwiches after me, sat there, ate them, and had left before I got my two chicken what sandwiches. The fuck? And there have been like dudes behind me too that were like waiting quite a bit too. And just when I was leaving, this other dude was yelling at the manager. Besides the point, I get home and I eat it. And my first thought is, okay, it's good. It's a chicken sandwich. It's a chicken sandwich. Yeah. So when people are like fighting other people over this chicken sandwich, what the fuck? Like, Remember, what? Someone was what? stabbed over this sandwich. You people are insane. Yes. To say like this is God's gift to man. No, no. It's a chicken everything sandwich. else about it was an awful experience. In no way, shape, or form am I ever going back to a Popeyes. You have to remember that. And I said that before. Now I'm definitely no. I'm not going to go back went, to Popeyes. I I did the same. It was after work, but granted, I get off work at three fifteen, mm -hmm. so you know wasn't. It was crazy. five o'clock when he got a sandwich. No, it was it was only like twenty minutes. Mm -hmm. Honestly, mm -hmm. like so I, I got my sandwich. Go home. I eat it, and I was like, eh. It's good, Chris. Again. I would just also like to preface, like, yeah, yes, people are crazy. We were planning to drive to Akron to go to a McDonald's. That's different. No. Bull shit. No, it is not. It is not different in any way, it shape, is. or okay. form. Listen. You're talking about the Szechuan sauce. Yes, I'm what? talking so about So the it. joke's on you because I did go to Akron <laughs> and I went to that McDonald's. And there was. And the line was out the fucking door around the block there and was people are pushing people. each other. And they said there was only like one pack. Like, who the fuck does that? McDonald's. <laughs> great marketing. Even no, that's not great, great marketing. It sounds to me like you hate Mulan. <laughs> <laughs> he does hate Mulan. <laughs> why did you take away? Uh, why did you take away that song? Make a man out of you, huh? Why? Because he doesn't have the strength of a coursing river. <laughs> Or the Steer, force or the of the great, great typhoon. Or the mystery of the dark side typhoon. of the moon. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Bottom line, people are Have you guys been watching Rick and Morty, by the way? Yes. No, uh, I haven't. Yeah. I've seen the first couple episodes. I'm two episodes. episodes behind. By the way, you, did you watch The Heist? Yes, You I, son of a bitch. I, I, it, is, I it is now within my vernacular now. I my, use it all the fucking time. My dog, get, I get up, my dog. You you son son of a bitch. I do that like a hundred times a night. I'll literally get up and then like Kiko will run to the back door. I'm like, you son of a bitch. bitch. I'm like, <laughs> it's good. They're on a they're on a hiatus right hey, now. Hey, are you hey, are you free yeah. Friday? Depends on what you say. I wanna go drinking. You son of a bitch. I mean it fits just about anything. Yeah. It does. No, I'm I'm on the episode yeah, after that. Of but then I think we have things to discuss after the podcast. But <laughs> that being said, I, I did. I, 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 did there, I know there Ocean. is a dragons episode, and I know what kind of happens. I just haven't seen it. Yeah, they're slut dragons. Uh, anyway, slut dragons. Hell yeah. So no, I re after that episode, I booted up Ocean's Eleven. Oh the first God! One. And then you the, the, the male version. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> It's the George Clooney version. Okay, so the remake, not the original. Not Ocean's the original. Eleven. With yeah. the Rat Pack, the good one. Literally, I think it, every heist movie is like that. You son of a bitch. I'm it's in. it's eighty percent getting the crew together, and or it's sixty percent of getting the crew together, and forty percent is they already stole <laughs> what they were going after. Yeah, and yeah, then a double know. cross. I'm like, huh. a double cross with a switcheroo. <laughs> a double cross with a triple cross. What? You Hell son yeah. of a bitch. What about I, National Treasure? That's, is that a heist movie? That's terrible. I mean, they steal the Declaration but it's of not a, But he's not getting a crew together. Yeah. Yeah. And also, the, the crew's double, already It's there. not a heist, it's a treasure hunt. That, and the double cross it just, is. It's like Jumanji. It's a treasure hunt? It's a Jumanji it's, movie. It's a little bit. And, and the heist. double cross is so obvious that when it finally comes, you're like, why did this take so long? We are going to steal 
the Declaration. See, it fits everything. <laughs> and then you see the evil guy, and you're like, that guy's gonna betray him like halfway through this. There it is. <laughs> when you lose your virginity, <laughs> you son of a bitch. I'm a... For daily memes. Oh, shut up. Do it now. No. Guess subscribe. What subscribe. What girl goes to be? All the other girls in class. You son of a bitch. I'm in. <laughs> Baby. Oh God. Doesn't eat food. Parent. What if it sounded like a shoo shoo train? Baby, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're looking at the memes of this when you have a small dick and she says, put it in. <laughs> Here's keyboard typing. Then five seconds later, you son, son of a bitch. bitch. <laughs> I mean, but, Trucula, by the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, by the way, I, I think one of the most creative things. We're gonna have to like put these in the in the video. Holy fuck, that one! Back that one up. Do that one again. Greater friend, I heard if toe type naked boobs in Google, you can see real boobs. Me, you son of a bitch, I'm in. This is like some like weird, distant, like dystopia stuff. You son of a bitch. It's just like, oh, oh my god. god. Okay. Oh so wow. Try some hot sauce. You son of a bitch. But what I was gonna say is like what's so creative about Rick and Morty is like the crazy mixing of like really crazy characters. So it was like double microwave, like the one microwave guy that's on top of another microwave with a cigar. Like what the hell is going on? Drugs. Lots of drugs. <laughs> what's, what's, but that's what's so funny about it, you know, like like hammer eye, you know, the samurai oh, yeah. with hammer the hams. Like, uh, you them. never thought of well, Hammer Crocubot. Crocubot's always good. Yeah, I've um, seen more of Crocubot. What, what, was, what was the, um, uh, Hitler, Abraham Lincoln? A Adolf, Adolf, Adolf Linkler. Adolf Linkler. Adolf Linkler. <laughs> what, or, uh, what, is this, what does he say? I'm going to what? I'm, I'm prepare to be emancipated <laughs> of your jeans. Your, your <laughs> of your inferior. <laughs> of your inferior jeans. Of your inferior jeans. What is it? The, uh, I can't even say it without laughing. What is it? The gear, the Gearbot Wars? Where, the, where they take the gear, he, he takes his genitals and puts them in his mouth and puts his mouth where his genitals go? And he's, he's, the cops here is just like, oh my god! <laughs> and then he vomits all the gears up. <laughs> oh god. They are designed to attract the attention. You son there. of a bitch, I'm in. Averdolf Winkler. It's not the same summer. Linkler's a crazed maniac. Just a misguided effort of mine to create a morally neutral super leader by combining the DNA of Adolf Hitler and Abraham Lincoln. Turns out it just adds up to a lame, weird loser. Rick, you brought me into this world. A <laughs> suffering abomination, tortured by the duality of its being. But I shall finally know peace when I watch the life drain from your wretched body! Whoa, what's up, man? I have no quarrel with you, boy. Boy? What's that supposed to mean? It's just... Look, I, I don't know how you can <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. I don't know how you thought. <laughs> Jesus. These guys are absolutely nuts. Mm. <sighs> so, also, speaking of movies, seen Frozen 2. Okay. Yes. Twice okay. in theaters. How is it? So sorry. Did you uh, drill a hole in your head? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. Okay. So, Not that bad then. My daughter wanted to see it. Duh. Um, and you're a dad, so duh. you obliged. So, it was good. Like, I don't know if it's as classic, quote classic, as the first one. Like, it hits a different stride. It's a little darker, and it kind of, the ending doesn't really make any sense. It's just kind of like, and that's the, the that's the end. Oh, no, you have it on mute. Oh, sorry. Oh, shit, I do have it on mute. He shoved it into, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> wow, there is all kinds of shoving going on. Hey, bro! I don't understand. Are you enjoying this? Do you like this? Yeah, you know it, dog! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Yep, alright. But, um, I mean, it's 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 a fine movie. Ooh, I saw a movie recently. What's that? It's not Star Wars. Or wow. Frozen 2. Or yeah. Joker. Or Joker. I saw Knives Out. Dude, I want to see Knives Out. Now, this is I Ryan Johnson at his best. At his best when he's not making Star Wars movies. 
so I've been listening to. You can just stay away from Star Wars. That probably. Well, so here's 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 the best I thing. Like, well, I really I better really, if they to let him just roll with it. I really I really enjoyed Knives Out. It was a very good movie. In terms of like Rotten Tomatoes, it is a very like very good movie. I think it's like a ninety six or ninety eight percent. Like I mean, oh, it's, yeah. it's like it's, it's well earned. The characters are super quirky, and you love all of them. Chris Evans steals the show because he's like the it's quintessential yeah. bad guy that you're like, okay, did he do it or is he just lying about it? And then you're like, uh, okay, he can't. So one of the interesting things that I heard was uh, Ryan Johnson. So he he obviously did The Last Jedi. He took all of that bad negativity and put it into this movie. So what a lot of guys were talking about, and I kind of agree with him after really listening to it, he does a very good job in subverting expectations. Yep. And you cannot do that in the second movie of a trilogy. No. no. You could do it in a first one. Yep. It just was really bad timing, and what he specializes is exactly like what Knives Out is about. Yeah. And okay. so Except I, that you could see who the villain was going to be, and then you're like, okay, there's going to be one more twist. And then there was one more twist, and then I was like, Psycho is actually this guy that you thought it was. It's a triple twist. Yeah. Oh, what a twist. A triple twist with a switcheroo. It was a... It, you son of a bitch, I'm in. It, it really was, is. because at some point you're like, oh, there's actually like some random person we haven't met yet, and then you're like, no, uh, no. But those are such cop-outs when it's just like, you build this world of all these characters, and it was like, and it was his twin brother's cousin, and you're like, oh, I didn't see that coming. We're like, like, who the hell is this person? And they're like, ah, oh, we got you, you son of a bitch. I'm, I'm in. in. Exactly, that's it. No, I saw it. It's really exciting. I'll tell you a movie that I haven't seen yet because it's not out. What's that? But I'm really excited to see it. It's 1917. Yeah. Yes. yes. That looks good. I have not no, seen I, that I actually saw the World War One movie. World War One. Okay. It's, I did see Midway, and Midway is a great I heard a lot. Of, I heard a lot of good things from Midway. Uh, if if so 1917 good. wasn't coming out in the same year, Midway would win for top war movie. Yeah. Of like Is that mid- a category? Like top war movies? No. No, but I would say the Midway, historically accurate, and the amount of action that is in it, it far, it's far superior to Pearl, Pearl Harbor. Well, uh, no, it didn't, no, it didn't no, have to, come on. It didn't have to try very hard, obviously. Or the porn parody, no. Pearl, Neca- Pearl but Necklace But when you, Harbor. if you compare Midway to <laughs> Battle of Midway from Ni- 1970. 1976 with Peter Fonda, what about, um, they what? had a random ass, like, subplot about his kid no one cares that movie's trash don't watch it watch the new one the what, new one is about, historically um, accurate what about your thoughts on Tora 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 is, an, is another really good one but okay. Midway goes through from Pearl Harbor all the way to the Battle of Midway so they go they do hmm. all the okay. they do all the battles in between at the same time I and gotcha. on and on the other end they show all of the intelligence going into it so all of the guys analyzing all of this intelligence coming in from the breaking the, of the code. from the code breakers to the japanese and they're saying gotcha. can we trust this information and this guy's like i am telling you without with 100% accuracy they are going to attack at this time at this day and then when they set this whole thing up the japanese completely fall for it and you're like holy shit this guy knows what he's talking about and we dang st- it sounds and, awesome and we still should have won we still should have won and it literally shows how like and it, every it, mistake the Japanese made in that conflict it just, is why it, just, it gave us the edge. So what you're saying is this world should be like Man in the High Castle. Pretty much, but it's... there, And there's also this one pilot. If the, if the one, one carrier well, doesn't switch over the arm unit, ar- armaments of his planes, yeah, if, we lose. If Admiral Yamamoto doesn't say, hey, I need you to go from this sea to land... This history podcast. I'm very fast. I know. Sea to land armaments... Speaking of historical events, should we? Different. What? Of historical events that no, happened. This no, it no, it's not 100 percent yet, so we're not. Well, no, no, it is. Oh no, it, it's, he's it is. Well, let's, let's, uh, we'll, we'll we'll bring it up just just for people that are aware. Okay. Um, for those who don't I mean, know, and I don't know history. how you couldn't know, Donald Trump was impeached by the House. Not removed though. No, the Senate has to vote on whether or not he's removed, and they're not giving. That's why the joke, the meme has been like. We're gonna bring. We're gonna bring you to. We're gonna bring you out of the office. But we're gonna bring you to the Senate. I am the Senate. I am the Senate. I mean, come on. That's that's basically what's gonna happen. Pretty much. Yeah, I really I thought know. he was gonna say. It's that. a historical moment, but at the same point, I think everyone's kind of under the same impression. It's like, well, nothing's really gonna change. Nothing's gonna happen. Nothing's gonna happen. And all the people who are like, oh, this is for sure gonna happen. You're like, you're yeah. getting your hopes Frog up. Frogman Mitch McConnell is going to like, you know, he's gonna throw no, Moscow gonna... Mitch. I, I don't like that name. That's a Name. That, that way, implies the Russia Gate thing is real, which it's not. Yeah. Right? Either way, he's gonna take his little cloth and he's gonna throw it up at the camera. And then a bunch of stuff's gonna happen, and then nope. 
Yeah, it's 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 not gonna happen. He's not getting removed. There's no way. Yeah. Let's just vote his dumb ass out and we'll move on with our history. Uh, yeah. Last time uh, this happened, he... it was for a blowjob. Now it's for bribery. <laughs> And a blowjob. <laughs> and a blow. <laughs> and, a, and, and an affair. Blow with a, uh, affair with a porn God, star. We, there we go. They could have gotten him on such better things, but they know it would have implicated all of them as well. Guys, we're thinking too and small. That's why, and that's why it's upsetting. Yeah. Oh, speaking the of people upsetting, who are I actually smarter. pissed someone off recently. Oh, really? Yay. Which person this time? Not your wife? Not my wife, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was actually with a Jeffrey uh, Jeffrey Epstein joke. Jeffrey oh. Epstein oh. killed himself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're like. Someone was bitching about like putting up. <laughs> I have one. Let me see that real quick. I have one. Someone was bitching about putting up Christmas Sorry. lights. I'm like, why do we have to do this? I'm like, well, because just like Jeffrey Epstein, they're, they're not, not gonna, gonna hang themselves. themselves. Wait, who got upset about that? Oh, I, it's was he just, a Trump supporter? <laughs> of course he was. Yeah, it was great. Oh boy. But I was impr I was happy with my, that joke. Uh, oh God. <laughs> As you should be. Someone oh, I don't, I don't. I don't Someone made like a Christmas ornament of, with Jeff Epstein's face on it. It says, I didn't hang myself. <laughs> Somebody had to put me here. <laughs> Just like the body. Oh, God. Uh, I don't. You find the weirdest shit. <laughs> uh, I, doubt, I doubt I'll find it on YouTube. But anyways, the thing was um, that uh, the tequila song. Where it's just like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like. You know, when they go, tequila, da 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 And it just, it goes for like 20, 30 seconds of that, and then he just goes, Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty great. Um, so I came across a really cool news article that American Airlines apologized to a passenger who got kicked off a flight because he had a Hail Satan t-shirt. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, yeah. Again, very fascinating, because it just goes now... I assume it was probably troubling other people, and so they were kind of feeling uncomfortable, so then they'd probably be like, he shouldn't be wearing that. You know, like a boomer does. He shouldn't be wearing that. And then I go, get over it. Hail Satan. Hail, hail Satan. We, we should all just get the pentagram tattooed on our, the palms Jokes of our hands. on you, it wouldn't last very long because there's no pores in your hands. So you'd have to get it touched up all the fucking time. Not like like Daryl. Blood tattoo, man. Like carving. Carve it with a Yeah, knife. fuck that shit. No. <laughs> no, you get burned. I stub my toe and I cry. So burn, I, burn burn I remember you sitting on that fucking I'm Lego and you were out for like 30 minutes. <laughs> you burn ah! it. Right, you burn it into your hand, then it's there forever. That's called branding. Yeah, you brand it just like. And that's what we're doing. We're just like an Indiana Jones one. Gonna brand it on my left butt cheek. There you go. On. Just like a cow. Give me that. Give me that again. <laughs> You're going to jackass. Okay? Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> you are. When they How'd you know? a dick <laughs> on him. Yeah. <laughs> Not just a dick. Speaking Three of... dicks because he couldn't hold still. Speaking of jackass. Yeah. Jackass 4 confirmed. What? Yes. It has been confirmed. Are they going to CGI Brian Dunn? And like put Brian, Brian Dunn. Dunn? Brian, did I say Brian? Yeah, yeah you Dunn. said Brian Sorry. Dunn. You're, try You're trying to do two different Brian's and Ryan's. Yeah, that's, that's what it was. All the dead folks. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You want it. You want it. You want it real hot too. Oh, by the way. Oh. <laughs> by the way, he gets it twice and then just goes, "You <laughs> fucked up." Oh, and he goes again. <laughs> Fourth time. <laughs> I love how he's like, well, you just, you just put a literal, a flaming hot rod on my ass. <laughs> this is why it sucks to have ADHD. This podcast has been fun. <laughs> it's like I'm going to do it again. <laughs> oh my god. There's three solid dicks. There's one half-assed one right here. And you gave me a set of balls. What a sweet set of balls. A sweet set of balls. He would rip his dick off and throw it in the river. Oh, he like shows his shows mom. Parents? Yeah, he yeah. Should, once it once it healed up. His <laughs> parents are like, I'm so dead. I miss I miss Viva La Bam so much. Yeah. That show was so great. It's supposed to be a dick, but he did it six times now. 
Mind you, the a million tattoos that he has. She cares about the brand. Oh my god, dude, that looks so fucking awful. Yeah. You're gonna have that for life. No shit. What's going on there? You should have made it bigger and more realistic. I forgot about Phil. Phil is my guy. No, Dick Farm Dunn ruined it. Why'd you ruin it? I tried to do it good. <laughs> For the Why would you burn him in the first place? Because it's yeah, funny. funny. This I remember that clip. Oh, the right control the test, the terror attacks. Oh, terror oh, that too. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. No, 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 no. We're, yeah. not gonna, we're not going to get into the rest of these because we could be here all night. But oh. yeah, um, yeah, Jackass Four confirmed. Well, Wait. how about that? I love how our podcast. We always have like a plan of what we're going to do, and then about twenty minutes in, we just Alan rails it, and but that's what it should be. There's like yeah. some sort of structure. We talk about we talk the big stuff on this podcast, but Let's you know. Oh, the first oh 10 I minutes. got it! I got it! I got it! What's up? His dark materials. Oh Watch, shit! I, I'm up to I'm up to speed. I'm up to episode five now. So there's only one more episode because there's eight episodes. Yep. I finished seven last night. Mm-hmm. Oh, it it's is so very fucking good. good. It's very good. It's on HBO, right? Yes. Okay. And then is that like I, if you haven't watched it, I highly recommend it. It's very true to the book. There's a couple things they kind of changed, changed, and kind of pushed a little early. So I, 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 movie. so I assume oh. there's only going to be three seasons. Yeah, there's only going to be they're going to they're going to do exactly what they did with uh, what Netflix did with the series of unfortunate events. Okay, so for every book is a season. Yeah, or or, yeah, or, yeah, or roughly. Yeah, yeah, roughly. I still uh, never watched that series of unfortunate events. That was good. Oh, the you series, gotta watch the Jim Carrey one. That's the best one. I did see that. I one. do like his Olaf. I. It's just that the he was in Frozen. The, the Netflix was much better. <laughs> but I'll tell you what. Um, right after I, right Spirit after I finish um, his Dark Materials, I gotta get right back into Watchmen because everyone it's, says it's so great. I haven't seen it yet. The it's it's I over saw the, complaining because it's too political. That seems to be the major that's thing I hear. The that's the whole point. That's, that's, that's the whole point. 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 That's the why, whole point. Which is why I just roll my eyes. Further than they're no, supposed to go. The, they said that they might not even do a season two because he thinks that this was his first idea and this was his only idea and he wouldn't do a season two until he had another good idea for it. So basically, it was thought out, it was m- methodical. I haven't seen other than the first episode, but what I, of what I've seen, I really like. So he's going to Duke new commit until yeah. as, as soon as I come with a new idea, I'll make a season two. Yes. If he comes up with a good idea, otherwise he'll just leave it, and that's your sequel to the movie, and it's over. But well, I don't like that <laughs> at all. Well, it's it's different from um, trying to do his dark materials. You you have a bunch of material. You say you're going to do this. They already had the movie, and they're like, we're going to do a sequel to the movie. So I assume we're I'm just going to keep getting this for the next like twenty years. Is like obscure books that have special cult followings. And then and people are gonna get excited about it, and then. Why well, do think they're remaking we'll Donnie Darko? Are they really? Why? Don't t- don't touch my D. Don't touch my double D. How dark is it? Donnie Darko. That's Darko. That's Darko. Um, there, there is gonna be another Evil Dead movie. There's gonna be another Evil Dead movie. Well, yeah, they well, re- movie. They, well, they like rebooted the series. Well, the TV show And then show they is, canceled it. I'm so pissed. And now that's it's Stars' fault, not Bruce's. I know. Oh, it's never Bruce. It's, it's never, never Bruce's fault. fault. Stars. Stars. Or Sam's. And they, that and just they, makes me think of Resident Evil 3. But confirmed. Oh, it's shit. Yeah. yeah, that's another thing we need to talk about. Stars. Fucking Resident Evil 3 remake is officially confirmed. Oh, and My Dino Crisis. Have never been harder. Did any of you play Dino Crisis? No. You never played Dino Crisis. Hang on, you're, Cat- for, you're forgetting a de- another important remake of 2020. Destroy all humans. Yes, That's bitch. not a remake, that's a reboot. They're completely remaking the first game. With it's Modern a reboot. Oh, here we go, the Resident official Evil. announcement trailer. Resident Either way. Evil. Alienware. Yeah, I want to spend I, $8,000. I was about to say, because I have $9,000 lying around. You do? That's exciting. Where'd you get that? must be nice. I mean, he was going to use it for Is that... Is it from uh, all the gambling? <laughs> He was going to use it for the uh, the animatronic sex doll that he was going to have. But. Sweet. This is actually my first time watching the trailer. Uh, same here. Uh, you Everyone's just been talking about you it. You could have so gone I, harder on the detail on that card, but... Send 
tight. Sounds like a really intense porno. Oh boy. 1738! Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I mean, it's... I, I, I mean, Resident Evil 2, the remake, wowed so many people. You had to follow you it up with your to. best one. You had to. I feel like they might need to, like, completely redo one again, though. Like, remake the remake. Well, the, oh, remake the remake? Yeah. Zero? Was it Zero? Was it Resident Evil mm -hmm. Zero and Resident Evil, um... Can you imagine if this game was fucking like uh, Mirror's Edge? Fuck <laughs> that! And that shit fu Dude, fucked yeah, fuck in front of me. No. Can you imagine this in VR? I would pee. I would literally you pee would myself. Pee. Look at that big bitch. Stars. <laughs> We're gonna have a Corey P meter. Corey P meter. And we've officially reached full meter. Big boy go pee pee. <laughs> As you can see, Corey. Dang. Is, Corey is peeing. What the hell? Stars. Which, by the way, like, it this? sounds horrible when the ori the original plays it. It's like, stars. It's, it's like so. <laughs> stars. The yeah, you are. I mean, I have AIDS, but that's besides the point. I'm not infected. <laughs> With the thing that you think I have. <laughs> stars office has to be in this direction. It gets worse. Can you imagine if this game looked half as good as this trailer? It will. Man, that water looks so like water. Yeah. That water is so watery in life. Oh, but jokes on you. It's Flint water. Ooh, it's like gamer water. So it's yellow. Whoa, shit. Tight. It comes out like. Twenty twenty. May. Look at that. Integrity. These are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella Corp. Oh, March. Yeah, March. Oh, I'm so <laughs> oh, glad. Wait, guess what comes out two weeks after that? Ghost of Tsushima. Final Fantasy VII. And then what comes after that? Cyberpunk. Oh, fuck. Dude, there's going to be like four huge games. Okay, well, I'm going to be playing Resident Evil on stream, so there's I'm that. just waiting I'll for I'll cover Final Fantasy VII, or will cover Final Fantasy VII. Can we VII. please? I Ooh. really want to. Are we, are we going to have a schedule back for Booty Beef Show? That is my goal, yes. Okay, I'm good. just waiting for Ghost of Tsushima. What? That uh, does look really it, good. What you, is it? Ghost of Tsushima? Ghost of Tsushima. They revealed the, the new trailer during the Game Awards. Uh, Speaking of which... What, what time are we at, Tyler? I oh, forgot. We are at 53 minutes. Oh, I forgot. So good. So, seconds. I know you two don't watch Critical Role. Chris, I know. Did you see what Laura Bailey did during the Video Game Awards? Yes, I did. I, ca I caught on my feed. Mm -hmm. Alright, all right, let's, let's go. Yeah. Let's do Ghost of Tsushima. Wasabi. Tsushima. Mm, delicious. Wasabi. Clear it's sinuses. basically the first Mongol invasion of Japan. Fascinating. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I mean, just look. So where does Mulan take place in this? Is this in the Mulan cinematic universe? <laughs> no, Mulan's China. This is Japan. Oh. We said Mongols. So Dynasty Warriors. No, there I, are. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dynasty, Dynasty Warriors. So Samurai Warriors 4 confirmed. <laughs> no, the game looks just absolutely beautiful. Now, is this a prequel to Shadows Die Twice, or...? No. Okay. It's its own thing. Oh, that, okay. That's Fuel. What's that? That was in... That took place in Fuel. Okay. Plus, you know, dragons. Dragons. Oh, Baby dragons. dragons. Are tight. <laughs> Hell yeah. Time wizard. This is so... This is so, like, cliche, but it's kind of fun. Yeah. Dramatic music. <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love movies that do that. The subtitles like pause, gas, fierce piccolo. <laughs> oh, man. Fierce piccolo. Where can I get Shut a mask like that? Japan. Oh, Amazon. It's kind of far. eBay. Amazon might be better for me. Fucking Amazon. Oh yes. I Fuck got Amazon. something sticking out of me. It's an arrow. Shit. <laughs> Well, that's do I leave serious. it in or do I take it out? You leave it in. Oh, oh shit, dude. You leave in the second one, too. Oh. He's dead. But you keep the arrows in because it keeps the blood in, right? Yeah. 
you need to cauterize it immediately. It's on my to-do list, all right? Please <laughs> come Shrek. Oh my god! What an awful way to get stabbed, by the way. Well, I can throw bombs at people, sweet! Sticky bombs? Beat that, Call of Duty. Yeah. Oh, flaming arrow explosions. This looks really cool. Yeah. I'm definitely down. Wait, but you forget the... F it, it has to be stereotypical and very, you know, dramatic. What is he gonna do? He's gotta sort out, what is he gonna do? I assume he's... <laughs> throw it back in the sheath? Yeah. All about that. Or, or just... Well, it's the one cut, one, he just, one kill. And the guy just gets blown to bits. He said, coming. <laughs> Tell him I'm coming! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey. hey! Hey! Man, those leaves look he, so good. Then he summons a dragon. This isn't Sekiro. Nope, this is completely historically accurate. Thank you. I'm just happy Sekiro won Game of the Year. That's really cool. Tight. Okay, so then we have what, Laura Bailey, right? Oh no, that that one. Abby. Oh. So yeah, that one's not even a video. It's just the uh, she left the Game Awards to go play. D &D uh, at oh Girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I saw that, but. She did something else too that popped up on my feed, but I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. So well, uh, when does that come out? Last of Us 2? Uh, 2020. It got delayed. Sometime. Till March. Uh, also, too, very fascinating subject. May of 2021. Okay? Not too far into the future. I'll be waiting for the new crew stadium. Keanu Reeves will be fighting Keanu Reeves, Reeves in Matrix 4. And, Matrix um, 4 and John Wick 4. Yeah, I heard the Battle of the Force. I hear that they're gonna move. may the Force be with you. And then, oh no, Bill and, and Ted gonna hire him. Bill and Ted comes out 2020. And then they're gonna hire him to play Revan. Is it Star sad Wars. that I actually want to go see the new SpongeBob movie just for the fact that Keanu Reeves is funny. a thing of tumbleweed? It's kind of funny. He's like, I am Jesus tumbleweed. How can I help you? By the way, we lived in Savannah when they were doing the last SpongeBob and they were filming there. Oh, that's right. They had all like the set stuff and everything too. And yeah, it was really. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. But mm. what can you do? Yeah. Man, time flies when we do these things. I know. It really does. Time flies when you're an idiot. Yeah, that's fair. And we have four. Yeah. Four <laughs> times the idiot. So <laughs> that's, that's like sixteen four. idiots. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no wonder 16 we never walls. <laughs> No wonder we never get anything done. Yikes. Hey, we got a lot done. Uh that's something that needs to die in twenty nineteen. The weird yikes. Nope. Nope, gotta keep something Yikes. different. Yikes nope. and Oofa's gonna, gonna stay gonna challenge forever. you or murder you. We're, we're from the Midwest. That is oh, worth oh, one yike. Just gonna sneak on past you. Yeah. Well, that's that, not, that is worth, not, that is, not you have been awarded one yike from the uh, Committee of Yikes, which I am a part of. Oh, okay. Burn in hell. Thank you. What a shitty committee. Yeah. Ha <laughs> 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 You can rhyme. I'm You're so a poet proud. and you didn't even know it. Man, we've we touched we touched base on a lot of things today. Well, month and you like you said, blue balls, we're just gonna throw everything out in front of you. So I am gonna be very diligent in getting these up every week. I have been very terrible at that. Well we also with the new D and D podcast we're about to start. D and D and work and well, you know what? We we just need to all quit our jobs. Let's quit our jobs right now. Can't and we'll do this full time. Can't. And then we'll just it's not enough money yet. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, You're 100 right there. Anyway, so episode, any money episode 10, the Star Wars review. Will it be good? Will it be bad? Will we have a lot to say? Yeah, Probably. it's gonna be an hour and a half and a half long. Oh yeah, get ready for that. Do you think you need to see it again? Yes. I, I was I was talking to a couple guys at work and they were like, I'm still digesting it and I think I need to see it again to really give it kind of an I guess an accurate. Nah, I figured it out. Well, I'm ready to go. You've already watched it twice. Four times. So <laughs> shut the fuck up. I was good to go on the first one. In all fairness, I did see the Last Jedi, the worst of them, three times in theater. I saw it twice. And they were always, and they were still bad. Like, oh no! I, once I see it, well, first off, I knew I wasn't going to give them any money for this one. <laughs> I just had, I just had Papa Dan get me a copy. 
You hear that FBI or NSA or whoever listens on this? They don't care. They yeah, have bigger. They have bigger fish to fry. Yeah, like you know, Logan not Paul dealing with white now. supremacy. Exactly. Can we talk about this real no. quick? Please. Okay. Please, can we talk about All right, last, thing. last thing. Last thing. This will be the last thing. Because I, don't like that that's so what, I don't like that that's what uh, sparked this. What, white supremacy? Yeah. Well, it's 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 relatable. Okay. Are we talking about a Nation? We're talking <laughs> about Army versus Navy game. Um, oh, I um, heard about that. I didn't. And, okay, so, and so Army versus care. Navy. Very, very short to everything here. Yeah. Okay? A lot of dudes were doing the made you look. Okay? We've all done it, right? Nope. We've, Okay. Well, basically, you do the Everyone okay except below your waist right there, and if you look, you're like, oh, and then you punch him in the, in the arm. There... The goal is to make you look. So the guys were doing it at the game. So it's the, you... it's the G version of, hey, look at the bat wing or look at my dick from waiting. Or the game. You the know, game. Like, oh, the or game just you lost. punch him and just punch him. So but you need a reason to. Apparently, it. someone no. on like CNN caught wind yeah, and they're like, that uh, it means white CNN. power, and everyone well, was you're flaunting doing it. you like this, then it's, it's supposed to mean white power. Um, which again, this is not this, which, which again is you jerking up. The only reason that ever came with white power was a year ago, as someone I posted on 4chan, as a guess what? Shocker, a joke, a troll, and a troll. And then all it took was a couple school shooters, and they were kind of doing like this yeah, yeah. as that. So, you know, of course, that's what it means. It's always Even, 4chan. It's, I just, I when, when remember I read the, when 4chan was fun. No, 12 years ago, 4chan is like weird now, but like 10 years ago. Oh, 4chan was so much fun. Usually it takes a crane to get that out. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 12, what is this? 4chan, <laughs> what 4chan was its own special, like, real cool little, like, fuck, fuck hentai up. world of fuckery. 2010 to 2012. No, nope. uh, no, because he got, he sold. Moot sold Moot it in. sold it in 14. So for he like had an it insane for, amount of money. Yeah, he had from right, 2010 yeah. to 2014. No, like 2006 to like 2011. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. And then he sold it, and then it got. And then and then it just ran rampant with like pedophilic stuff and everything. Yeah, yeah. Like, and racism and, is and like racism, and, and then it was like, yeah, this is not. I remember I went to like the. I think the last big hurrah 4chan had before it went to shit was when we all sent Justin Bieber to North Korea. <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> or plan my next tour. Or are you, all right. All right, four chan. No We're one looked. Him to no one looked. North this Korea. is the beauty. This is the beauty. Four uh, chan. Four chan. Giga pudding. I remember this. I, this I have never seen this. You've never seen oh, Giga pudding. This is the gift you're of four chan. You're, 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 you're in for it. By the way, look at that quality. That's how long ago it was. <laughs> oh wow. Oh my god, this is bringing back so Hold many on. memories. Hold on, Chris. <laughs> Giga pudding! You know, you know that question you asked earlier about Chumba Wumba? Uh, it's this. It's My this. Please. <laughs> this is Giant pieces of flan pudding, and they're <laughs> eating themselves, and it's like a five-year-old child. Giga pudding! <laughs> so if you can imagine entire internet, this this entire 4chan went nuts when this thing came out. <laughs> went insane. I'm in hell. <laughs> It just keeps going. <laughs> All right, make it stop. All right, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> it's two and a half minutes of hell. God. Oh, Jesus. Uh, um. Wow. You know, the site I was always on when I was like younger was Newgrounds when it was still. Oh cool. yeah. Well, New, now Newgrounds has uh, resurged. Has it? I yeah. haven't, I haven't been on in years. Uh, okay. Two reasons why Newgrounds research. One, because all the Flash Nightmares are really like upping their product. Yeah, they bring the hentai back. And two, yeah, because never left. Uh, oh. uh, well, well, no, two, since Tumblr got rid of all the porn, everyone flocked to Newgrounds. <laughs> that is one hundred percent true. By the way, and they're like, yes. like Tom, Let chaos rain. Tom Fult, Let's where, go. You know how you had like the the five tabs of Flash animations, music, yeah. gaming, and all that. He now has a fifth tab of. Art. <laughs> I, I, 
Well, there was and a, lot, a bunch of people well, from like YouTube found... also went over there because like they do have like monetization and things like that too. So, no shit. Like, yeah, he like Tom Falk really it's, did. It's not Newgrounds when it was at its peak. Let's just get that clear. It's it, not Tank Man. It's, it's it's not yeah, it's right. not Tank Man Infinity okay. right now. It, it's 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 building. It's but, not like, what it was. I remember. Day. I remember being on Newgrounds, and like I remember Noah and I used to go on Newgrounds when we were younger. Oh yeah, and dude. We used to laugh at the fucking like porn flash games because they were hysterical. Fuck Mr. Thatcher. Well, it was, it was the there was one that was the yeah, uh, yeah, man. that you would like, you could like dress up Bulma from Dragon Ball Z, and if oh click, DBZ as bridged. Yeah, and like if you click, if he even you, knows what the title is. If you clicked on her, there like go, man. on her vag, she'd be like cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. And so and then we, yes. I brought up E Bombs World because yes. that was also pre YouTube. And oh my dude, God. the end of the world, fifty five might be one of the funniest things I've ever seen. My IQ. Look, it's still monetized. Man, this dude must be making bank. Dude, Santa's fucking Man, jacked. Santa's jacked. Oh, he's driving a Dodge, that's why he's jacked. Mary, dude, look at that guy, that guy's jacked too. Everyone's jacked in this video. Dude, I need to work for Dodge if apparently you get ripped. Yeah. <laughs> What's the one from Amish Donkey that also got posted on E-Bombs World? It was we... When, when you get in, you wanna, you wanna go, go we, but you oh. ain't got drugs yet. And this, I forget what it was. Oh, and Strife. That's it. Hold on this to your life. Got Hold on to your life. 55. Gonads. And Dude. Strife. Yeah, I remember that. Thank you. What a crazy time. <laughs> what a crazy time it was pre YouTube. Yeah. It was the Wild West. Oh, oh it was. It was the Wild West. I or, still uh, remember. Ultimate Showdown of Ultimate Destiny. Oh, oh yes. yes. Well, that and which um, then turned into the the mature section of the ultimate orgy of yeah. ultimate destiny, where they were all fucking each other instead of killing each other. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Uh, Mr. Rogers in a cum stained sweater. <laughs> like, <laughs> Great. This MS Paint. <laughs> Shifty five. When that was the peak of animation. That was, oh my god, people went nuts. Look at that, 13 years ago. 9.8 million views. It's so haunting. (laughs) 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 Let's do this check. Oh my god. Oh god. Alright, hold on. So, before we end it. <laughs> last just, one. Last one. First it was Chris, about white power and like white yeah, supremacy. It, now just for you, since we're end in... End of the World, though, was still one of my favorite end videos. Of, on no, that, you gotta delete. Oh, no, god damn it. Um, just, end of the World is very... It's, it's but just for you. Tired. Okay, okay, take a nap. nap. But then he really misses. Australia's still like, WTF, Mike. But they'll be dead soon. Fucking kangaroos. Fucking kangaroos. <laughs> <laughs> Just for you, Chris, because since we went on the best things to ever. Oh, uh, new grounds. At, oh, full stick fight. Oh, yeah. That, that, yeah that zhao Zhao. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. oh, no. I don't know if you'll find it. Oh, it's on here. It's got to uh, be. Street Fighter. Our Streetest Fighter. Street Fighter or Streetest Fighter? I don't think we have 45 minutes to kill. Oh, no. I was just going to skip to the, you know, <laughs> the end. Why would it? Oh, come on. You're going to show up. There we yeah. go. Uh, you mean that one? Oh. <laughs> boy, boy. Yeah, I remember this. Uh, yeah. Where it's just a big collaboration of just different things. There's some pretty <laughs> g- There's some pretty good ones. Man's biting again. Oh, my fingers! Wow. Look <laughs> at the heat circus, you gay clown. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> His head explodes. You win! You win! Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> he snakes away. Uh, oh, God. Good ones. 
All good ones. Okay. <laughs> Mama, 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 Mama. You win. Murder. Oh, darn. <laughs> I assumed you were going to go straight for the one. I was like, all I need now is some <laughs> yeah, that's, you're doing me so All I need well. now is some pee I love, I love this, the newspaper said, the Hadouken mm -hmm. Tribune. These, these, these collaborations are pretty great. It's just times if any equals penis. <laughs> All right. Well, we're, we're gonna uh, just like a penis here. Just like a penis, we're gonna wrap this up. Oh, thank God. That was fun. Uh, that was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. Minus all our ADHD. See, this is why it sucks if it, because if it was minus all of our ADHD, we would have had like 20 minutes of podcasts. <laughs> and that's why the world's shortest podcast. Thanks for thanks for coming, everyone. Bye. And like, <laughs> what well, just happened? It'd be um, thirty seconds long. What are we freaking about? What are we geeking about? This. Well, that's it. I'll see you next week, everyone. Bye. Everyone's got shorter attention spans now. So before well, we everyone's, go, because everyone's taking Adderall. So before yes. we go, we do want to give a quick shout out and apology to our sponsors, SeatGeek oh. and uh, your Gasm earplugs. Uh, thank you so much for mm -hmm. uh, helping us out and helping us do what we do. Links will be in the description. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, and um, I don't know where they go for podcasts. Just wherever the description on your podcast. Yeah. Yep. Where um, you consume it. Yep. Where you consume it, and don't forget to check out our merch store. Please. We have a yep. merch store. We do have a merch store. And I always put in the description. We have three dumbass Twitch channels. God. First and foremost, since I'm speaking, mine! <laughs> Twitch.tv forward slash College of Weird. You can watch me playing whatever the hell I'm playing. Uh, more likely than not, it'll be something that has to do with shooting things like zombies. Zombies. Or Star Wars. Or Star Wars. Because yeah, I am playing or shooting Fallen zombie, Order zombie Star Wars. right now, but, you know, I'm oh, almost well, done with the game. So, game. more than likely, be back fun. to Resident Evil. Fucking um, lightsaber. Fuck you. I love my purple lightsaber. You anyway. are not Mace Window, motherfucker. No, I'm better, goddammit. <laughs> uh, my better, my, not balder. Yeah. Uh, my <laughs> Twitch I channel really is Twitch TV slash Ragtime Roast Beef. Uh, I was on a about three week hiatus because of work and stuff, but I'm back. Uh, you better be. Fuck the Booty Me Show job, also bitch. happens at that, but there will be some days during the Booty Beef Show that we'll both be streaming, and Chris would be streaming on your page, which is... Which is twitch.tv forward slash MC under, underscore booty stank. That's right. MC underscore booty stank. Love it. Rolls off the tongue. Taking y'all to Bootopia. <laughs> God. Welcome to Bootopia! Yeah! Dolly! <laughs> <laughs> Go Boost Mobile, get your line for $1.99. Dolly! <laughs> And we'll He's probably made one. so much fucking money from those commercials. <laughs> it's probably disgusting. So, uh, 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 nope, nope, we're done. We're done. And nope. that's uh, Twitchless Tyler, because he has no Twitch. Yep. Double T. TT. And we'll see you in the next podcast. God and um, we're not sorry. And no, next one will be all about Star Wars, so we're not sorry for that. Yeah, we're not sorry. I can't wait. I am not going to hold back. Nope, neither am I. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.